So Nick, as um, I failed to steal your Range Rover, this is my reward is I get to dri drive back in the step wagon. Yeah, it actually looked much nicer than this before I drove it 6,000 kilometers across Europe. Oh, you got inspired by my dad how to repair things. <laughs> He's even got matching colour tape for the car. Well, it actually matched perfectly, so coincidentally. Yeah. Nice. It's a cool car, though. Like, this one's a bit rough, obviously. It is rough, but, but with it's a, cheap. It only needs a paint job to not be rough anymore. Yeah, Because sure. it's really clean on the inside. Drives great. Drives Look really at nice. this. Wow. And the optional seating. Look at the velour in this. Very, very plush. That's it's a cool car, hair. man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's like What year is it? 2000. 2000, wow, yeah. 24 years old. V20 engine. V20 engines, very reliable. It's a, cla yeah. it's a modern classic, isn't it? It is, really. Okay. One of those ones toying with keeping it, it's just such a nice driver. It's kind of cool rims as well. Like, if this was newly painted, you got those rims. I know. Like, imagine this with like black with gold. That's all my go to on Japanese cla classic Japanese cars is black that's, with that's gold I trim. Thinking. I was thinking, like, get the bodywork done in Ukraine and then, like, put LPG on it. Yeah. And then you've got a super reliable, cheap running car. You know, running for a pound a litre. Pound a litre? Well, yeah, if I'm an LPG. Yeah, I mean. yeah. Um, yeah. Have the you seen the, the French uh, Peugeot Guru, his uh, LPG conversion is 404? Okay. I'll, I'll send you a link to that video. That's, that's inspiring. Really? Oh, this is cool, man. Look at those bars of light in the back. I know, it's hard, isn't it? It looks like... Um, look at space you've got. I mean, look, junk at the back, but... Yeah, well, that's what it's for, isn't it? Junk. Oh, yeah, exactly. This is what you drove to Ukraine? Yeah. 6,000, 7,000 kilometers. Wow. I'll put a link to the video in this. Yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't do a video. This is going to be my mini uh, review of uh, driving a uh, rusty step wagon. Hey, Honda. <laughs> the step wagon. A Honda. But it's so cute. Look how narrow it is. It's like a really narrow thing. I mean, I bought this because I didn't want a T4, T5. I thought this is just well, a, What a name for a car, step wagon. It's like your stepmother, isn't it? It's yeah. like, <laughs> it doesn't sound like something you're going to love, is it? Well, we missed out the O and the A, so you just got a step wagon. Wagon, yeah. Mm. But, aftermarket body kit. Yeah. It was actually the... Um, that's the aftermarket market body kit, right? No, that's not part of it. Okay. Um, so this is actually the Malaysian consulate's car in London when it was new. Wow. Ah, I know. That's why it's so plush on the inside. Yeah, well, probably. Twin AC, dual AC, I should say. Well, that's brand new bloody Goodyear snow tires. Nice. Yeah. Sweet ride. I'm going to take it for a little uh, mini test drive and... Um, Go for it. Catch you back at the... Um... You know, where are we going to? We're going, <clears> to we're going your mum's place, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Right, so see you. Alright, let's uh, try the step wagon uh, something. I've got a bit of room, just not automatic, I guess. I'm pretty smooth. Uh, I guess through this.
without suspension, I would say. I could do with some, or maybe it's just a rattle, I'm not sure, but I could do with a little softer suspension in my book. But then again, I've just been uh, driving a huge Range Rover, which just floats along, and uh, after driving the Jaguar, that's kind of floats along, so maybe I've been a bit spoiled lately. But, no, I, I could have this. The perfect family, family cruiser to go on holidays in. Long drive down to Europe, get the AC on, a great little car. So would I have one? Yeah, if, if you know, if I was looking for an economy drive, I'd, I'd love to have one of these. And you could buy one of these like this and put a little bit of money in it and you'd have a great car. I'm a firm believer in recycling these cars rather than chucking them and buying new ones. So I think that would be better for the environment in many ways, especially some of these cars because they were simply so, they don't use a lot of power or they don't use a lot of petrol and they're quite, they're not really monsters in terms of CO2 emissions neither because it's a small engine and uh, I guess there have been some improvements but it'd still be a waste to scrap something like this when it's perfectly usable. And if you maintain it, it'll probably last another 20 years easily. So that's my conclusion. Oh, I could easily have this car. It's quite fun actually. I'm sure Nick, I think Nick's done a little video on it as well. So check that out. Until next time, have a good one. You know, somebody could stop and just kind of let him, there you go, let him go.